Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey fly tying video production. Here I'll be sharing my favourite flies and methods of tying them to make catching fish better for you guys around the world and also make tying these flies easier. All the flies that I'm going to tie, uh, I personally use them and at the end of each of the videos there will be a wee list of materials required to tie these patterns which you can purchase the flies and the materials off my own website if you so wish. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you'll pass the word about to your mates uh, of my channel, get them to subscribe, get them to have a wee like you know, get them to come over and have a wee look and see if they like it uh, I hope you enjoy the video and basically today I'm going to be tying a, a river fly it's a, an early season banger air fly to be quite honest uh, it's called, we call it the magic most people think it's just a hair's ear and, and a partridge but uh, we we know it as the magic, all because a certain person called Mike Cordner. But I'll, I'll talk through that while I'm doing the fly. So there's different hooks you can use. Uh, I know Mikey likes tying them on TMCO sometimes, so did I. Uh, you can tie them on normal wet fly hooks. I like to tie them on a curved hook. So that's a size 12, and it's a Sprite, actually. These are pretty good hooks. Uh, Daryl Mooney's been giving me a few to try out. That's a size 12 scud, alright, so quite like that hook, quite a good hook, it's a strong hook. I'm going to use some sheer 14 0 thread, black, you could put an orange, you know, a, a fire orange head on it if you wanted to use, it's up to you. But obviously for the body we're going to use a squirrel, fox squirrel or hair's mask and, and we want some copper, copper wire, right, soft copper wire, small. And then we just want a party tackle. I've already prepped this one, ready to tie in. So let's get going. It's, it's a really simple fly to tie, to be quite honest. Whether I'm going to do it any justice, I don't know how I can. But you know, Mikey will probably tell, give me any trouble. But Mike Cordner, uh, this is his point fly all the time when he's fishing wet flies. Now we call him a Spider Man. Because that's all he wants to do is fish wet flies most of the time. But it must work because the guy has actually won the Scottish Rivers National Championship twice. Not once, but twice. Which is no mean feat. And it was quite close together as well. So we'll tie the copper wire in. And, and you know, I did learn from Mikey about spider fishing. Or speeder fishing as they call it from Aberdeen. And I also learnt from other boys like Richard McHarty, Kenny Riddle and etc etc. But the the way Mikey fishes it, I'm going to wax the thread now. The way Mikey fishes this particular fly, it's always on the point. That's where I fish it. And I usually have a partridge in orange and a water hen blower further up or a snipe in purple. What then does is, it's the equipment that he uses. So we're on a river, we're fishing, most guys are on a river fishing in 9 foot 4 weight, 9 foot 5 weight at a push. Mikey's fishing a 10 foot 7 weight Loomis GLX. Now he's also fishing 5 or 6 pound Airflow Sight 3 G3 Nylon. Now when I asked him about this, the reason being was a lot of the times you're hooking these fish, especially with wet flies. Mikey doesn't lose a lot of fish on his wet flies when he hooks them. Uh, reason being, he gets a much better hook purchase because he's using a really stiff rod. So if you think about it when you've got that big bow in the line, if you're trying to set a hook at distance on a 4 or a 5 weight, you've got an awful lot of pulling, a lot of strain to try and straighten that up. We're just going to run the thread up just now. Right. So you've got a lot of strain on, on that set up to try and actually pull all that line in especially when you're fishing a river like the river Tummel where most of our river finals are held on and where heats so the river Tummel's you know a big big river so is the river Tay so Mikey's theory is to use stiffer nylon well heavier nylon because it obviously uh, gives them better contact and it does make sense so normally when I'm fishing my wet flies now I'm usually fishing my old Sage RPL, 9 foot 6, 6 weight. You know, and my, my hook ratio has got a lot better since I started doing what Mikey does. You know, because the, the stiffer rod 
will set the hook easier, etc. etc. I'm just going to rub it with the, the copper wire. Now that's it's fine fishing wet flies at, at close distance on a, a lighter rod, but when you are punting a big long line out, and sometimes you can cast in most of the line out, you do want a stiff rod to, to set that hook. You know, uh, and it does make sense. So that's as we've tied that off. That's where I've got the body. That says it's just a partridge and a hairs here, but it's called the magic or the Shazam. Mikey does call it the Shazam sometimes. But it says you can tie it on a straight hook as well if you want. So I'm just catching the partridge in by the tip because I'm not wanting a lot of partridge in there. I'll just trim that bit off. Then you can use your hackle pliers if you wish, or just do what I'm doing. You only need a couple of turns, that's it. Then just catch it in. It will be a wee bit messy, but you can tidy that up. Then just pull that off. Right, and then bring it back. Now I say, it's not just an early season pattern. This fly works all year. And as I say, Mike Cordner's got a hell of a lot of uh, confidence in it. I've watched, I watched him playing a fish one day, he will give me dogs abuse because he says I was shouting at him and trying to put him off, but I wasn't really. But it looked like a salmon he had on, but it was actually a brown trout at 50 centimetres. And he hooked that fish about two foot off the shore after his fly, so he swung right into the bank uh, and basically straight lined it. So, you know, the, the fish was down below him, straight, and the flies were straight, and the fish took it in very, very shallow water. A bit of water that most people would actually walk through. So, you know, it, it does make sense to actually fish all the water. And with his setup, he can cover an awful lot of water very, very quickly. So, I hope you enjoyed that. That is the magic. It says, if you hear people in Scotland talking about it, I say it's just a partridge in hairs here. For early season, for middle season, the whole season, I say it's always on the point. And the reason I like it on these type of hooks is because it anchors it, it's a bit stronger. Temcos are great hooks, but they're pretty expensive. So these sprite ones are pretty good. Uh, you can use very hard wet fly hooks, which are quite strong and quite heavy. Uh, but, you know, it's really up to yourself what you want to tie them on. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're going to have a wee look. You can follow me on my Instagram, Dave Downey Fly Fishing. Follow me on my Facebook, David C. Downey. Check out my guiding site where you might come fishing with me one day and get to use these. Uh, that's www.davedowneyflyfishing.com uh, Website is www.fly-fishingworld.com So thanks for watching another Dave Downey Fly Time video production. As I say, I'm not that well just now, but I uh, says I would do the 15 flies, so I'm going to do them. Uh, so have a great day. Hopefully we'll get out to fish soon. Tight lines, guys, and have a good opening day. Bye for now.